Hello, welcome back to Slice and Dice. Once again, I return to play Classic Heart. I'm doing this one the night before instead of doing it after I wake up. I don't know. I went for a walk and I was feeling inspired. So uh, let's do it. I heard, I mean, I read one comment that agreed that we should do wild modifiers. So I'm going to do wild modifiers for a bit because it seems like fun. Uh, you know what? I'm down for some generated monsters and generated items too. I think with the exception of the heroes, the generates aren't all that bad they're usually pretty funny and sometimes they're really broken so we'll let it be five percent we'll let it be special when it happens and let's go uh let's play you know what's my streak so two let's play uh you know the thing is if i pick greens and then lose i'm just gonna be mad so let's play basic oh god oh good heavens what is this Huge enemies, 23 max HP. You can't click this, by the way. This is like, if you click this and then you walk into Troll King, I think that fight might just become unwinnable. Monster regen, all monsters with 10 or less max HP start with two regen. That sounds miserable. Let's start a reset. I, look, I'll click RNG every time it's offered to me. Green, 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 gray, blue. My fault. My fault. Um, I'm just checking. Can I? Uh, no. Uh, so, with this, we have to play slippery dice here. I can't tunnel vision greens. The good news is we have house cat, so we're going to get power spikes a little earlier than normal. If I tunnel vision into like tainted, which will just happen to me, the run get it's like I get a second curse if I take tunnel vision basically. And Wanda and Top Blank make the run. Well, this character doesn't care about it. This character doesn't care about it. Actually, Top Blank isn't that bad. Hold on, how many greens actually care about Top Blank? No, not really. Not really. A little bit. No. A little bit. I'm not clicking you. Uh, you know what? Let's play dot, top blank. And it sounds less bad because my comp is, uh, shit. And is going to be shit forever. But we do have one of the stronger setups. I actually think starting greens are pretty powerful. Tinder is good. And spade, spade tinder is a sick combo. Like, no, no jokes. I think this is pretty solid. Like, unironically, maybe we just kill Tinder here. Like, you just take the guaranteed kill on it. Although, I could probably fight out to save him, come to think of it. I think I should. No, I think it's worth it. Because if I have to upgrade him right away, I'm going to be sad that I killed him off. Although, Spade, it makes it actually not that worthwhile. This is basically a non-choice. I don't think it matters too much one way or the other. Four tier ones, nah. Sphere is good. Sparky's a little worse because of the curse, and Sphere is... He's unaffected by the curse, and he's gonna make the rest of the team a little better. Sparky, I mean, he doesn't care that much, but he's just... Sparky's worse if you don't have another character that makes mana, and we don't. So I'm glad I kept my Tinder alive, I guess, but... This doesn't come with a keyword. These do, so I could play Slam Wolf here. I can actually, I can slam two damage. I cannot slam again. Okay, I think this is all right. Uh, we'll basically just use Sphere plus House Cat to do four damage every turn. Right. Uh, quite. All good, all good. Don't worry about it. Don't, uh, sweat it. Alright, it's here, here. Am I... Am 
I doing this right? Yeah, I'm doing this right. Okay. I got the fin mulch, but yeah, you're out of here. Big heart or scar? Well, scar is worthless because I have no healing, so I suppose it'll be big heart here. Uh, and we're one dogma away from a hypothetical infinite, so... You know, that's something. I guess I'm rolling for this. We're just going death to five fat. And then mulch and this thorn runs. Yeah, no big deal. Glacia is fine. I... I don't know. It's like, I guess you can use Glacia to weaken to try to stop enemies from getting a snowball effect going. This is the wrong stun. Two mana. We can... We're rolling for a sphere stun here. It has to be rolled down for the stun. A stun is big. He's done it. My god, the sphere. Who would win, this stupid dog or the orb? Spoiler alert, the dog's not looking too good here. Why did I roll this? My god. You can save the mana to burst here because the dog is just wasting his turn anyway. Wait. Uh, I unlock this. I think I should have lethal this turn. Should is the analysis word. It, I guess this is lethal, ultimately, because he leaves. So you know what? Good enough. Statue at Twin Daggers. Twin Daggers sphere actually sounds so good, and it can end on House Cat later. Because remember, this isn't like a stasis blank or anything. You can replace the top blank. So... We can work through this. I roll a stun here and this golem leaves. He might just leave anyway. Yep. So if I pick Coffin, I basically am just playing a, a, a five character run plus cat. And if I pick Cleric, my run is worse. So uh, yeah, we get a yellow, hey hey. Uh, it's nice because now my run is coherent. It's a shame because it would have been really funny if it spit out. <laughs> I mean, you know. If it just popped out a little, uh, a little something for me there. I don't know, maybe a little goofy guy, maybe a, ooh, I don't know, maybe a fucking green there. That would be pretty funny. But I can survive without... The funny. I live. I die. I live again. I gotta tell you, I have a feeling that I'm supposed to just let the blind go. And call that a turn. That's how it looks to me. Focus. I mean, this Y0 has the capacity to hit two, which is just shocking. And then this is a slam. I have a stun focus off of. This isn't right, but I'm just going to end turn because I don't feel like undoing and min maxing because I should never lose someone here anyway. So I don't have to care. Yeah, we are slamming now. Ooh. Whetstone, Iron Pendant. I think Whetstone works on this. Plus to shield sounds pretty bad. Give me the Whetstone. It doesn't work? What the hell? I know, you're gonna go, oh, because it's the bite. Yeah, yeah, I need tinfoil hat for this. Doesn't, just because you're right doesn't mean I'm happy about it. Remember that. Arg. Arg. Wow, this looks much worse. 
I guess we just slam. Kill him. No need to go all in on the slam value. Oh, no more than normal anyway. Three, I, three, five, six. Oh, it's, uh, yeah, it's slam lethal. I guess I'm playing Brigand out of these, because Brigand gets two twos here. Okay. Okay. Oh no. The cantrips kind of fuck me up here too. I don't know. Because I just want to slam over and over again, but I cannot keep slamming. You get slammed. Snow. That's what he said to me. I guess I'm gonna kill Agnes. Although this is then incorrect because I slam Agnes and I or I stun Agnes and I just kill kill Magrat with slam. I'm gaining a decent amount of respect for Sphere, which is probably not right. Man, he's so good in this the worst run I've ever seen. But I mean, they're just getting stun locked. They can't move. And this honestly isn't even that bad of a run. It makes me wonder if maybe I've been too hard on the greens. Maybe I have been. I patch. What about red flag? I think I go eye patch because we got this yellow and now I can play around that. But it might be wrong. Red flag house pet isn't a terrible idea either. This is worth keeping all of this. We're looking for a slam. Mm. Okay. Sure. Sure, sure, sure. So we're gonna slam you. Could slam here too. It seems wrong. I think I should just stun here. Or no, I should stun here and kill it. This does not do damage. Uh, whatever. Good enough. Uh, as you probably know what I'm gonna say before I even say it at this point. But, uh, continue the slamming. Hit him with it. And you know what? Another one. Keep him coming. They... Six, six dice slam angle? It's pretty decent. I'm getting consistent slams. And it's, you know... When you have no better outcome, I suppose you just slam on. Warden is quite a bit worse here, but so is Scrapper. Taking three side guy is pretty bad, so I'm gonna grab Warden here. Brigand is also, like, strong for me, unfortunately. He's kind of powerful. I hate to have to say it. I'm gonna roll until I get a stun, yeah. You can roll this. Go on. Okay, that's fine. What do you think? I think we chill the carrier, and then no poison, and he dies. Fun here. It looks all fine. Because even if the illusion weakens the sphere, you can still slam, since slam only needs a one keyword side. The keyword doesn't have to come with damage. So you can slam off of these two. But you cannot slam off of this one. Because because this side has two keywords on it, it's weakened and single use. Second keyword? Ah. Ah, this is a little wrong. You're right, you're right. Actually I should kill this golem. I miss lethal there. He run they run if I kill this. Whatever. Good enough, good enough. Wand Grip's Shimmering Halo. Shimmering Halo is plus when I save someone, which is pretty meaningless here. 
It's definitely wand grips. I gained a lot of respect for wand grips in this update. It turns out that just going like, I mean, first of all, it gives me this, which I can take the the single use off with eye patch, but just having the ability to double up on some sides is pretty good often. Because that's usually what it is. Plus two is usually a double. Not always, but often. Often they're kind of kicking your ass. Anything to say for yourself? Ouch, oof, owie, probably. Ow, 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 maybe? Slamming is bad here, actually, because it's fanatics. You don't really care to put damage into fanatics. They're gonna die anyway. Natural causes. The natural causes themselves. God, I hope we don't fight the hand. If we walk into the hand with this team, or even Dragon, I think will be bad too. The hand in particular, though, I think will just body us if he rolls any cleave spread damage. All these units, no defensive options. I wouldn't want to be me if I was me facing the hand. I'll just tell it to you like it is. Also, when we add more characters like this, I, my hands can't do key bindings anymore. I just can't adjust in my mind. Wait, am I behind the curve? Am I minus one upgrade? I think I am. Because if, if this were on tempo like I thought it was, I would be getting a tier three here. Huh. How odd. I'm going to random this because I want a chance. I mean, sinew is okay. Gladiator's fine. Brute is whatever. Uh, Sinew's actually pretty terrible. I want Soldier. Ah, uh, but if I if I pull Sinew here, it's pretty awful. So I guess I should take Brute. And we can Wand Grips, Glacia, Eye Patch. Nothing? Nothing. Inflict Exert. This is what I weaken, took the weaken 3-4. I took it for Baron to stop Inflict Exert on me. So I'm glad to see it pay out. They are just a blip. Looks pretty bad for him. I go... has to be 3-3. Three, three. The bite goes here, and then I can go chill. Oh no, you know what? It always ends up the same. And that's okay. It was a good effort, team, but I'm gonna let him go now. Just remember, if you're fighting this fight, make sure you break intangibles. It should be high on your priority list that you get rid of those intangibles, because they are very bad. It's very, very bad to let them go and to, to let them live a guaranteed second turn. Fine with me. At this point now, I can just kind of lock all of these enemies out of the game. It's very hard for Baron or the Ghost here to do anything to me. Not impossible. This Warden has really been showing up, though. Blindfold. It can be good, but I already have Eye Patch. I just kind of feel like, what is Determination going to do? Not much, right? I think I will take the Blindfold. I wonder if I was wrong to take Coffin, because now I'm, I didn't realize I was going to be behind one step. I thought I was going to be happy with this Coffin. I thought it was just going to put me back to square one. I'm shocked it doesn't. It, what it means is that I'm missing an upgrade, and I don't know from where. Is fine. The main mission here is to get this snake overkilled so that the bandit flees. Okay, guys. First 
to go on. I'll deal with you guys later. Let me go through this, actually. So, start of run, tier 2, tier 2. Oh, right. We are behind by 1 because it spits out a 0, not a 1. Of course, of course, of course. That makes sense. So we're not too far behind for going Coffin, but we are going to be one tier three down. Although we could get something like Vessel, and then it could give us like a level up blessing. Plus two hero HP for Monster Right 2. This is actually a pretty good trade-off, I think, a lot of the time. Also, here's our first wild monster, Egg.Golem. There it is. Is plus two HP worth the mon- plus two HP is worth a lot since I have a full team. Like the plus up, so I'm gonna go for it. Oh fuck, I really wanna take twin. It's it's awful, but like man, seven units on my team? I have to click on luggage. Iron Crown, Twisted Bar, Eucalyptus. Okay. It's good. I won't complain. Like, it, it's for sure the correct choice. It's just a little sad because we could have done twin. If I had anything for twin, we could play twin and we could be playing the seven unit dream. But there was no way. Uh, please don't make. Uh, oh my god. Spear, you gotta roll me a reroll. Oh my god. Okay, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Don't, don't panic, don't panic, don't panic. I let one golem spawn here, but it kills the war chief. It's probably the right choice. I guess this isn't that bad either, though. You know what? I'm fine with this. Horrified. Three damage warden. The luggage should do well. And we're open here. Or sorry, the sphere should do well. And we're open to picking up like a... What's his name? Give me a sec. A sorcerer now. And like sorcerer sphere actually goes kind of crazy with it, I think, to take this run home. It, sorcerer is my number one draft pick right now. Because he makes my matchup into the hand a lot better. And I'm pretty sure I'm meant to get uh, split in half by the hand. Duck. We can go wide here too and just look for as many good blue payouts as possible. Uh, duck is one of them. And it's fine on Glacia. Sometimes I'm going to have to keep Glacia to the end here. I don't mind this outcome either. Although Duck Glacia, it's not like I have... You know what? My mistake. I did have something for it. I hit you once, twice, three, four. I don't have it. Tomorrow will be better. It chomped much worse because of my cat having extra HP. All I'm saying, maybe it was the right choice. That weekend four? Not so good for me. Glacia, can I get an Echo? Thank you. I'd actually, maybe it was rolling Echo and I just didn't notice because it was cantripped. I can't, couldn't see it. That's blue on blue. Okay, I'm done rolling. This is like giga lethal. I don't even need the Echo. So, how important is Twin Daggers? I think it's reasonably good. I think it is better to keep this over a tier 4. Brawler doesn't lose out on much. Paladin gives me a fine Iron Crown holder and a bunch of 4s. But I probably want more like spread block in this run. I'm gonna go Brawler. I think Brawler is inoffensive. Oh, you know what? No, I should have held out. Because I have this blindfold, I should have held out for something a little better. That's okay. 
one. All right, you got a lot of time here, Glacia. Thank you. Uh, no stuns here. I'm gonna roll for a dagger, I think, and then just end on that. That'll do. Or no, it's two here, two, two. Big shield, eight mana. And then I just burst, I guess. And then, uh, yeah, you know, it's fine. Things are less fine. It's okay, I have Glacia. Don't panic, everyone. I actually think I have a stun here, too. I, I actually think he might he might even be just dead. One off. Close. Sushi standard. Um I suppose I should pick the correct answer here. I I will reveal something to you. I am not a big fan of sushi. In terms of item power, I think it is maybe too strong. Why do I think that? Well, it's very simple. Uh, I am now one item away from auto winning this run. And I, tr I truly mean auto winning this run. If I see Silk Cape, the run just ends. There's not a whole lot of like nuance to it. It's just, oh, Sushi Silk Cape, cool. If I have any cantrip, which I do, I have twin daggers, I just auto win the game. I think it's not super interesting. Uh, what is interesting here is the number of wisps that rolled three. The answer, if you're playing along at home, too many. I can do four with these. That lets me clean them all out. That was a lot of monster rights, though. And again, a suspicious number of monster rights, but it's all good. Because I probably actually just go forever here. Eh, maybe not quite. I'm looking for a rampage from this spot. Although, I, 11 rerolls might be the number where I'm just, like, supposed to go forever. I should probably lock Warden. Warden, are you? No, you're not my sushi guy. I can do uh, Iron Crown sushi, by the way, if I really want to. I don't, but the option is there. It's lethal on this turn, by the way. I went, I went infinite. It's guaranteed. It's kind of just how how do I want to go about it? I'm waiting for this dude to roll his left side. Starting to get a little bit suspicious of Warden. There you go. I think he was trying to make me sweat it out a little bit. Good enough. Dice gassed. I have eye patch gassed. Um So that's cool. I'm gonna play dice now. Although, I guess, realistically, okay. Do I want to just win? I suppose I should, you know, it's not bad to do. And we just go like, eye patch, wand grips, it's cool, it's whatever. Don't really care. If I just wanna win the game, I do this. And you know what, I may as well. I guess I've earned it at this point. This is fairly close to infinite, if not just infinite outright. The downside, of course, here is that I am infinite into this shit. Uh, so it's, it's not necessary that it hits, right? I can just miss the first three turns and then not go. But it's less likely because of sphere, and I think that as long as I don't just die, uh, I will eventually hit the escape velocity. However, hey, sometimes it'll happen like this as well. It's all good. Maybe go burst, burst, so my cat doesn't die. 
And then like first harvest. So there's a bit of implied uh, meaning, by the way, behind what I'm saying. Uh, and I should I should clarify in infinite doesn't necessarily mean infinite when I say it here. Wax seal tincture. Huh. Um. Okay, uh, that doesn't seem very good. I guess I'll just take the collar is also pretty bad here. The only it's only two characters I can even hold it, and one of them is already holding two items. So, all right. When I say infinite here, I do like it. The implicit meaning is that what I'm saying is I can roll until I have perfect sides very often, which you know isn't a correct meaning technically speaking, but. You can bridge the gap mentally, I hope. I believe in you. Uh, in this case, by the way, I'm rolling for Echo plus Gast 7 mana. That is the end condition in a lot of these fights. Uh huh. Yeah, if I ever hit that 6, I think I actually just go forever, too. But. Do I really want to kill these trolls one at a time? Look, I've done worse. I'll just say it. I've done worse things in this game than this. Sure, I may as well lock it. I've played worse setups than this. I've done worse things in Monster Train. I can reroll until Twin Daggers decides to take these trolls out for me. Although, it's looking kind of... Kind of grim. I'm at 36 rolls. I should figure out what I'm actually rolling down to at this point. Because these twin daggers are sure not helping, and I don't want to do this anymore. I've changed my mind. Uh, I should lock 3 plus 3, maybe, and that'll let me kill one troll. I mean, I have so many fucking rolls, man. Surely. Surely we can hit. I think, statistically speaking, I have to, yeah, eventually hit this. One more item slot is really what I want, so that I can go uh, Big Sphere with Sushi Wax Seal Twin Dagger, because that would make my life much easier. Or not sushi, sorry. Uh, twin dagger, wax seal. The other one? Oh, twisted bar, twisted bar, I got it. Alright, I'm tired of this. I'm moving on. Because the thing is, yeah, I'm done. <laughs> it doesn't matter now, I just have to kill these shades. Please don't hit the dagger. Oh. Let me out. Please leave. Thank you. God bless. Vessel is cool and fun, but I am losing the game if I click him. Sadly. So let's play Stalwart. Let's do our goofy, silly little setup here. And let's take home our dub. Just thinking about this. Does anyone really like Twisted Bar here? Not particularly. Because Twist, I guess Twisted Bar luggage is slightly better. I'm losing out on the option of 3 reroll, which I, is probably not worth it, actually. Let's not lose because I want to be lazy. Let's just send it. That's a big bite. Hmm. We hit our 6, so now it's just... Welcome, welcome to a test of patience. Oh yeah, alright. Kick back, get ready. I hope you'll sit through this one with me. Don't click away, don't cheat. 
You gotta, if I gotta suffer through this, you gotta suffer through this. Come on. Let's get this bread. It's, it's not every day. I mean, it's, it is starting to feel like it is every day. Uh, I, I think I set this in the tier list, but I think Sphere is probably the most powerful green, and I fucking hate him. He's definitely my least favorite guy. Because I just always end up doing this. I don't want to do this. I don't want this, Sphere. I don't want to be like this. Let's do a little math while I press R. It's seven damage, so I have I can kill from 14 with the cleave plus the seven mana. Because seven mana is six damage plus one for harvest. And then we get seven out of the cleave at the top, so 14. Uh, I can end on, what, probably five damage stalwart, which is 19. Brawler does three, which is 22. Sphere doesn't do any damage. So I only need to hit this dragon with cantrips another, what, eight times? I think that's right. It's, it's honestly, of, of the infinites I've done, it's still not that bad. It's... N nothing ever will be as bad as, you know what I'm gonna say, the little fade subsuming blade infinite I did to win a run a monster train at four in the morning. If you're a newer viewer, I'll regale you with my favorite infinite story. Uh, so there's a card in Monster Train called Subsuming Blade. It says when you kill a target with this I, with this card, it permanently gains, I think, plus three damage. And so there's a unit called Little Fade. She has... Uh, or it wasn't Little Fade, sorry. It was uh, Votaberry. Votaberry says, on death, draw a card. I had a relic that said, on death or on death triggers trigger twice so on death draw two cards one of those cards was the subsuming blade and one of those cards was the votaberry so that would go forever so i counted up by threes to four thousand at four in the morning uh to one shot the final boss because it was technically lethal i had to take it to guarantee myself the victory. It was just a little bit miserable. And so, by comparison, Slice and Dice is easy. I'm just saying, that infinite took me an hour. I'm not kidding. I, I said, I'll be right back. I paused the video. I turned on an episode of Critical Role and I re resumed the video at like 5.30 a.m. So that infinite taking me like five minutes, whatever. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave me a like, subscribe if you want to see more, and I will see you in the next one. What a strange run. Have a good one.